Hello everybody and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be traveling across the entire map of the test zone to determine just how big it is. I'm going to start in one corner, go all the way across, start in that corner, and go the way all the way over there so I can calculate the area and the size of test zone. So let's get straight into it. Alright, now that I am in the very corner of the map, I can measure how big it is. Here we go. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to do a time lapse and then I'll let you guys know when I'm on the other side. All right, so unfortunately, we don't have enough um, memory to be able to track just how big it is. Test zone, it tops out at 10,000. We're at 9.9 thousand currently. Uh, as you can see, once the accumulator fills up, it no longer tracks. So I'm just going to have to increase the multiplication. Um, and we're going to see what happens. All right, I have increased the ratio. It should be just as accurate in theory, but I don't know how many decimals Trailmakers tracks. Um, but this should be able to measure the rest of the way. So that first part, it was 10,000 meters, and now we're traveling the rest of it. Alrighty, we're almost here. Here we go. I'm gonna start slowing down here So that we don't crash into the wall because that would be tragic uh... oh. All right, there we go. So from end to end it is 15,000 meters across just like that. So now let's measure it the other way well I well 15.2 thousand if you want to get technical so let me write that down here so I don't lose that number. All right, so remember that it is 15,200 meters across that way. Now let's measure it across this way. Um, in case you were wondering, the new maximum memory is 100,000. Hopefully it isn't that long this way. I'm just hoping that's a perfect square, but something tells me it's not. So let's get to measuring. All right, so now that I've reached 15,000 meters, I'm going to repair. And we're going to measure the last bit so we can still be precise, you know what I mean? 52, 53, 54, 55. All right. So, and it is that wide. All right, so it was 15,200 meters long, and it is 15,525 meters long wide so those are our dimensions i'd imagine that it is in fact a perfect square and the correct number is somewhere between 15,200 and 15,526 but now all we gotta do is some simple math and multiply the two together so we had 15,200 times 15,200 because we're assuming it's a perfect square that means the test area give me a drum roll please it is 231 million meters squared in surface area that is absolutely huge no wonder you can hit like Mach 2 on this thing well that's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace